The purpose of this video is to provide an overview of what are probably the two most common ways by which users will create points in Civil 3D. The first example is the condition in which users may receive an ASCII point file from a surveyor. In this particular example, we have a survey file named topo.txt. In opening this file, we see that there are multiple points within this point file. Prior to importing this point file, users would have to know and specify what is known as the point file format. Here, the point file format of this particular file is PNEZD. That stands for point number, northing, easting, elevation, and description. Note that not all points have descriptions. Furthermore, the user would have to know and specify how each of these fields are separated. This is known as the delimiter. In this particular example, the delimiter is the comma character. So to continue this example of importing points from a file, such as one that would be received from a surveyor, the command for importing points from a file is found under the Insert ribbon tab, under the Import panel, and here we have Points from File. Selecting this command, the Import Points dialog box comes up. At the top, we have the format specification. As we had noted, our point file format is PNEZD, comma delimited. Civil 3D comes with various general formats that can be used. After specifying the format, we can choose the file by clicking on the Add File button with the plus sign symbol, browsing for the file. As this file is brought into the drawing and imported, we can have the points within it defined into a group. This is done by enabling Add Points to Point Group. In this file, there are no existing point groups, therefore I'm going to create a new point group by selecting the Add Point Group button. Here, I'm going to create the point group name with something intuitive, such as the date, user initials, and perhaps the file name so that I can correlate the point file from which this group was created. I'm going to select OK and OK again. The process completes and the zoom extents shows that the points from the point file topo.txt have been imported into the drawing. Next we're going to review the second common way in which points are created in the drawing. The second example by which points are commonly created is the process by which points are manually created. This is common in the process of creating let's say a grading plan. For this particular example, let's assume that over this existing grade topography, we are going to create a pad. Within this area here, I'm going to simply create a rectangle, which assumes the pad layout. Now I want to set points at the four corners of the pad to designate what the pad elevation is. To create points manually, the command is found under the Home ribbon tab, under Create Ground Palette, and under the Points Flyout. Under Create Points Miscellaneous, we have the Manual option. In Creating Points Manually, the Create Points dialog box comes up. In this dialog box are some useful settings which we can implement to aid in efficiently creating points manually. For example, under Points Creation, there is a setting by which point elevations, as they are created, can be specified automatically. Since my pad is flat, and let's say that I know that my pad elevation will be at elevation 155, I can set point elevations to be specified automatically. I can do this by going to Prompt for Point Elevations and changing Manual to Automatic. After changing the prompting for point elevations to Automatic, I can go to Default Elevations and specify 155. In the same way, point descriptions can also be set automatically. In this case, since I'm setting points for a pad, I want a uniform description of pad. In this case, because I want the points that I am setting to be uniform with respect to their descriptions, I'm going to change prompt for point descriptions to automatic. Under default description, I can then set the description to pad. 
Having established these default automatic point creation settings for point elevations and point descriptions, we may recall that we initiated this process through the command to create points manually. Hence, looking at the command line, we see the prompt for us to begin locating these new points. Using the endpoint snaps, I'm simply going to pick at the four corners of our pad. As I set these points, notice that points are being created as shown by the fact that point markers have been placed at the four corners. I note, however, I have no point text labels showing. This is simply a matter, in this case, of the point group settings, which would be a good idea to implement anyway, being that this particular set of points that we are creating are unique in that they are for grading, as opposed to the rest of the points that we see in this drawing, which are simply for the existing topography. Therefore, to take the four points that I've set on this pad and to create a group out of them, I am going to go into Toolspace under Prospector, to Point Groups, right-click Point Groups, select New, and create a new group called Grading. For grading points, I am going to apply the basic point marker style and a point label style of elevation and description. To specify the pad points to belong to this group, I am going to choose the Include tab, enable with numbers matching, and use the Selection Set and Drawing button and select the four points I had previously set. As I select Apply and OK to exit out of the Point Group dialog box, I now note that the four points at the four corners of the proposed pad are displaying. Here we have the first point, the second point, the third point, and the fourth point. We have seen by this exercise how points are created manually in a civil 3D drawing, and also how groups can be applied to establish the point display properties. This concludes this video on the common ways by which civil 3D points are created in a drawing. Thank you.